Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. We have learned Kirchhoff's voltage law in the previous video. In this video, we will discuss the same with the help of a simple example. For that, I take a simple circuit that comprises of few resistors and cells. Here is a circuit. This is one part of the circuit that consists of a cell. This part of the circuit consists of a resistor. Now move to another part. This part consists of a resistor and a cell. Now, the fourth part of the circuit that consists of a resistor. Now, it is the complete circuit, and as you can see, they consist of three resistors and two cells. Here, this resistor has resistors R1. This have resistance R2 and this uh, provides resistance R3. So here this cell is said to have EMR Z1 and this have EMR represented by letter Z2. Now I assume the direction of current in this circuit to be flowing in clockwise direction. I have told you earlier the direction in which the hands of clock move is called as clockwise direction. To apply the Kirchhoff's voltage rule, we assume the direction of current either in clockwise or in anti clockwise direction. If the assumed direction of current is in the direction of actual current, then the current is taken as positive. If it is not so, then it is taken in negative. Let me show that to you. Here, as I told you, I assume the direction of flow of current as clockwise direction. So, it will move in this manner. So, for better understanding, I take this point. I name this as A and this junction. This is as B, this is C, this is D. Now I go ahead. The current supplied by this one is taken as I1. So it remains same at this point. So I1. The current flowing through this resistor is I2. Taken as I2. And the current flowing through this resistor is taken as I3. So what is the case? Now let me apply Kirchhoff's voltage rule to so this. Closed circuit. You remember, we always apply Kirchhoff's voltage rule to a loop or closed circuit of this kind. So when I apply Kirchhoff's voltage rule, no, I start from E. Assume that here the loop is. Closed circuit, closed circuit or loop is nothing but A, B, C, D, A. A, B, C, D, A. This forms a closed loop. When I apply Kirchhoff's voltage rule, Kirchhoff's voltage rule 
says that sum of product of current and resistance in a closed circuit is equal to the sum of EMFs in that closed circuit. So I will add all the product of current and resistance. So I will start from A. Here the current is I1. I will multiply this with the resistance in that part of the circuit. It is R1. I add this with the, the product of I2 and the R2. Then one thing forget to mention here. We have learned that every cell has some internal resistance due to or offered by the electrolyte. So here this cell have internal resistance triple metal small r2 and this cell have internal resistance triple metal small r1. If it is so, this current flows through this uh, are supplied by this uh, cell. So I multiply I2 with the internal resistance of this cell, this R2. Then I go ahead, when I reach point C, here we have current I3, it is multiplied with R3. Then here current I1 is multiplied with internal resistance of this cell, that is I1 multiplied with the R1. So we got one part. According to Kirchhoff's voltage rule, this will be equal to the sum of EMF in the closed circuit. Here we have EMF Z1 and Z2. Now I told you earlier if the assumed direction of current is similar to the actual direction of current, then we use a positive term here, positive sign. So here we know current always flow from positive terminal towards the negative terminal. So actual current will flow in this uh, upward direction. And assume the direction of current is also in the same uh, way. So we use a plus sign. For the EMF is I1 plus I1. Then when I reach to this point B, the current flows in the downward direction. But the uh, actual current will flow from positive towards the negative. That means in the upward direction. So these two are not the same. Here, assumed direction and the actual direction of current are not same. So I use minus sign. So minus z2. This is what do we obtain? The total EMF by applying Kirchhoff's voltage rule to a closed circuit. I hope this video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, Kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.